What's going on guys, Victor here, with my good buddy Juno Ryan. What up dudes? And uh, today we're doing a little bridge fishing. I hope you guys enjoy. Look, someone left a squid, how nice. First thing Ryan and I are doing, putting out pinfish right in front of the pilings. We got the end of an incoming tide right now. I'm gonna hook my pinfish right here through the nose. Nice little succulent pinfish. I'm gonna put them right here in front of the piling. Just like last time, trying to get that keeper grouper. Now look at these shrimp. The nice thing about this time of year is the shrimp run real big. We don't wanna fish no puny shrimp. Way under there. We got here a little bit late. We had a very tough time finding bait this morning. We went to how many different tackle shops? Like four different tackle shops. We went shops. to four and we called at least 20. We called 75% of the, all the tackle shops in the Keys and nobody had pinfish this morning. And if you guys don't know who this is, this is my best bud, Juno Ryan. He does have his own channel. He hasn't been that active because he is actually in the Marines. Check out his channel, I'll have it linked below. Have a good one. Where's your camera? Uh, in my bag. It's a good fish. This thing just took off. Got a nice run. There's a lot of current here, so even smaller fish still feel pretty big, but we've played that. I'm guessing it's yellow tag. That's what Victor normally catches here. Victor and uh, Chad Dog fishing. I have to change angles here. I just want to keep him in between these two pilings as he fights. You think it's fighting harder than yellow jack? Yeah. Or you got a permit or something. Dude, it's a permit. It's a permit. It's a permit. Hold on. I got to get the net, Ryan. Oh my gosh. Get him, brother. Ryan got a permit. Damn, dude, that's sick. Hell yeah, Ryan. I'm gonna wait until you get him straight up and down. You got him. You gotta get him in that thing. In that eddy. That's a good one. That's a permit. A permit, yeah. Dude, you the man! We've come down here with all these live crabs. Woo! And and we catch one on a freaking shrimp. Dude, hell yeah! <laughs> Woo! Man, wow. Are they in season still? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. That's awesome. Woo! What do you think about that? <laughs> oh my God. Dude, first fish of the trip. Yeah, just like that. You guys, Ryan, first bait. I was like, there's no way that's a yellow jack. Ryan just pulled up a stud permit on the little reel. It's a mangrove. I was reeling in this shrimp to check it, and what do you know? Oh, it's a it's a hog, dude. I don't even think it's season. But this guy is pretty small. You guys That's... saw us catch a bunch of big ones on the west coast. So. In my West Coast video, I was telling you guys how West Coast were all about this size, but they were all males. You guys saw their mouths were huge. They just had like a big, broad body. This is a female hog. She's got a small mouth. It's not that giant mouth yet. Pretty cool. I wonder if it was, if it happened to just eat as I was reeling in the rod, but. Another permit, bro. though right I'm just rubbing the underside of the paw there it goes no. no yeah I just got about spooled on my spinning rod and it just I don't know what that was something just jumped yeah something just jumped up there <laughs> maybe a big ray uh, maybe a shark I don't know something that like just absolutely took off and I had no chance of turning it just went 
straight that way under the bridge and I was rubbing up underneath the other side of the bridge. So. I don't know, there's sea monsters out here. Oh no! Pin fish? Yeah, live pin fish, man. Oh, he's coming back for it. He got it, he got it. Oh yeah! Yellow Jack, they're here. Flip them over. Whoa. Whoa. We didn't get him at the other bridge, but we got him at this bridge. Found. Hey man, you finally caught a fish. Hey, 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 I got a hog fish. Oh, yeah. A little update for you guys. Ryan and I switched bridges, and uh, this is the first fish at the new bridge. Beautiful Yellow Jack. This one's like... Yellowest Yellow Jack I've ever seen. He is. Yellow Jacks? Yep. Oh yeah, there's a bunch down there. Here, you want it? Uh... They're just gonna be swimming up and down. Yep. I feel like we're gonna be picking them off all day. Yep. You got a boat coming too. Real, 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 real. <laughs> <laughs> Almost dropped them in the boat. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit bigger. Dinner, son! Biggest one of the day so far. Yeah, that's though. a big one. Voodoo Adam and only the little ones wanted to eat. Come on. Got. I don't know. This is bottom fishy. Yeah, very bottom. Oh, oh, oh! Do not go in there. Do not go in there. That's why you fish mono on the bridge. I think it's just gonna be. Oh, it's a oh, black. black. Hell yeah. It's gonna be undersized, but well, still. Anyways. Yeah. Black grouper. I bet you that thing is 19 inches. You know, 18, they always 19 change inches. size. Like once you bring them up onto the bridge, so I yeah. just never know. Everything, nah, he's smaller than that. Is he? We saw this rod tip oh, bouncing. Yeah, dude, he's gonna be, I guarantee dude, he's 19 so inches. so good looking. Aren't Those they? Those are aesthetic fish. I'll get your uh, tape for you. Oh, wow. that, dude. He's about 22. You, you know, that thing is almost legal. So this grouper right here would have to be 24 inches to keep. This guy is 22. Not that much bigger to keep. But look at how pretty. Look at all those colors. They got like the marbling of the reef. Look at all, he's got polka dots on them. There you oh. go. Wow. I just put that pinfish down. Yeah, I just put it down. Baby, come back. I literally just put this pinfish down. I don't feel anything. Swallowed it whole and it looks like it got scared. Leader's a little chafed up, right? No. Nope. I say grouper. Yeah. So these are one of my favorite baits in the Keys. Little grunt, super plentiful, drop a sabiki down at literally any bridge, grass flat, basically anywhere in the Keys with a little shrimp or squid. Take my grunt. I like to cut it right here behind the tail. Okay, just like that. And then I like a good grunt plug. The reason I like this bait so much it's not a sexy bait. It's not very oily. It's pretty bland, but that's good because nothing really messes with it. It's really hardy. So that's like a perfect little mutton bait out there. Grouper will eat it. Mangrove will eat it. But if you're in need of bait and in the Keys and aren't going to be able to buy it, catch yourself some grunts and make some grunt plugs. They make great baits. Dude, I don't know what is eating these baits, but... Oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. Come on, eat it. Got it! Got whatever it is. All right, you're on. Yeah, that far bait next to the power line. Don't know what it is, but... It's digging. Is it a yellow jack? Or a yellow tail? Oh no, it's a little mutton. Target species. That's it. Target species. That's honestly, that's probably a 16 inch mutton. I think 15, 16. You know what a good friend this guy is. I said, Ryan, 
Can I take a picture of your permit and use it as the thumbnail? And I said, absolutely. What are friends for? And you know what that means? You guys should give him a follow, a subscribe to his channel. Yeah, subscribe. Pretty why cool. Can't, why can't I talk today? So I don't know, because you didn't catch a permit and he's, you're super frustrated. But it's all good, man. I mean, the last time we were together and someone caught one, you were the one to catch one. I did. So. So check out Ryan's channel, link below. He did a lot of cool stuff in Okinawa, Japan. He was stationed there as a Marine. A lot of fishing off the rocks and a neat fishery. So if we don't catch anything, this will be the last clip you guys see at the bridge. And then uh, I guess we'll catch you guys at the flay table. Ryan and I back from the Keys. This is the permit that Ryan just filleted up. We're going to do a little permit and yellow jack catch clean cook for you guys. Or we're going to cook it up in the kitchen in a little bit here. Um, yeah, so permit in the bag. It was a relatively slow keys trip then compared to what you guys have been seeing. So this is a yellow jack, as you guys have seen in the past. Eight inch Dexter fillet. And if you guys are looking for a fillet knife, you guys can save 20% off all Dexter knives. Use my code Landshark at checkout. Just line them up with the edge of the fillet table and work all the way down to the tail and then back up towards the head. Break through the pin bone over the rib cage. And that's it. Favorite eating fish. I think I actually want to cook this over the permit, believe it or not. Even though it was a permit. I filleted a yellow jack before this and it took like three times as long and did not look anywhere near that good. So <laughs> filleting a lot of fish gets you really good at filleting fish. Yeah. Practice makes perfect in anything in life. Skins. Remove the pin bones. Honestly, this looks a lot better than the permit. Yeah. Don't sleep on yellow jacks. No, definitely not. That's it. Nice. Beautiful. All right, we're starting this video off with, Brooke, give me the camera. It is like two or three days until the new year. We got to get this girl to 200,000 subscribers. How many are you at away? Um, I'm like 300 away, I think. 300? 300. Okay. We can make that happen. Oh my gosh. We got like 470,000. Where are you guys at? Give your girl a follow. If you guys don't know who that is, that's my fiance, Brookie. She helps film a lot. She has her own channel. So I will have that linked below. Brooke Rist Outdoors. In the kitchen with Ryan. Ryan actually just made permit for lunch, yeah. which was delicious. And then we're going to make some yellow jack. So the way I have these prepared, we got like four ounce pieces of fish. I just seasoned one side. We got coriander, ginger, salt, and pepper. Really fragrant spices. Had some macadamia nuts in the pantry. And I thought, why not make a little not crusted dish. On the seasoned side of the fish, I'm gonna go into an egg wash. Try not to get it on the other side, and that's just gonna help our macadamia nuts stick. And you guys see that I don't have them crushed all the way. I do want some bigger pieces in there as well. Not only does it look nice, but well, that's mainly what it's for. It just looks nice, so it's not just a crust crust, okay? So really press that in there. Okay, how about a little bit of this? Press that in there. Gently macadamia nut side down. Naturally, you're gonna have some fall. And just push it into there. And it should bind. Okay. All right, we'll do a little flip action. Nuts will burn on you. So, oh, we just had a blowout. I don't know why that one stuck and that one didn't. Yeah, that one was good. Okay, round three. Third time's a charm. Look. Whoa! Ah. These two are stuck. Juice over there. Macadamia nuts or any nuts will burn on you if you cook them too long. Tablespoon of butter. Baste them a little bit. If you take cucumbers, slice them real thin, put salt on them, they'll wilt. All the water 
content will go out of them so you're just left with that real good cucumber flavor without all the water and they look kind of elegant you know um, they become very subtle it's not a big crunch from a cucumber and I also added some red onion some sweet chili for sweetness and then a little bit of acidity we added some rice vinegar this is also a little mango puree I wanted a, a real light kind of fruity a light fruity dish for the fish. So to make this mango puree, two mangoes in a Nutribullet blender, food processor, whatever you got. And if you want it to have that real cream-like consistency and whip-like consistency, you add heavy cream to it. We had a little bit of extra heavy cream left over from our Christmas sauerkraut soup. Add some honey, lime juice for the acidity, and you got yourself a mango puree, which goes so good with something like this. A nice off-center dollop like that. Give it a little schmear. Go down with our fish. Just like that. Tell me kiwi's not just like the most aesthetically pleasing fruit out of all the fruits. Cucumber, red onion, salad off to the side like that. There's one. I think we can do better on the next one. Man, we needed something red for this dish, didn't we? We needed something red. Strawberry. Oh. oh, strawberry kiwi fish dish. That would have been good. A little like red um, chili. Yeah, a little red chili to bounce, to add some heat. Heat with the sweet. Whew. What about it this? Smells like this. It smells like dessert. All right, we're gonna fish dessert. We're gonna do a little poll here. You guys vote in the comments below. Even if we get five votes, I just want to see. One, one, two, three. Which one looks the best? Which one do you want to just rip out at the screen and just grab it? Can I say mine? Yeah. Two. Two? Yeah, I'm on team two as well. I'm on team two, then three, then one. You put, you use the worst piece of fish too and we're still voting. <laughs> <laughs> All true. right, we know how it looks now. Let's see how it tastes. I want to know what you think. You just had permit, now you're having a different fish. I just, just had, had permit. And this is actually the first time I've had yellow jack, believe it or not. I remember watching Flip Palette on TV catch these back in the day. So far, this mango puree is really good. Yeah, the mango puree is definitely good. The fish is really, really light. It's a huge contrast with the permit. Isn't it? Yeah. The crunch of the macadamia nuts is pretty good too. Honestly, don't sleep on kiwi and fish. <laughs> <laughs> Strangest combo ever. But like Vic said, you just gotta experiment, you know? It's you don't have to go with the first recipe that you see when you, you know, Google recipe for fish yeah. online because they're all just going to cook them with dill and lemon and they're all the same. So this is pretty darn good. I'm going to try your side dish too, man. Victor said that he's cooked uh, macadamia and crusted fish before, which I don't actually remember, but this is amazing. And Ryan, like we said, cooked permit before this. And I almost feel like this is like the dessert dish. Yeah, it is. You know? Mm -hmm. Fish dessert. I thought it was going to be sweet, too. We thought the macadamia, macadamia nuts were? Like be... with the butter, like I thought it was going to be like mm. more desserty. I like the macadamia nuts. You get a plum. You get a crunch? You get a crunch. <laughs> you get the saltiness of the nut. And then that kiwi, that's a palate cleanser and ready for the next bite. That's the way I look at it. A strange combo of things, but it all works. You guys heard it. I recommend it. I really liked it. I think you guys should try it at home with any white fish, not salmon, not tuna. Check out Brooke's channel, link below, get her to 200,000 subs. Check out Ryan's channel, link below. And get me to 200 subs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How about 20, are you 20,000? Like 25,000. 25,000. Pretty close to that. Okay. Get him to 25,000 subs. I want to thank you guys so much for watching for uh, hearing us ramble about kiwis and voting on plates. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch all you guys in the next one. My, my land sharks in the next video. There we go. We thought the bank it dent. 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 Macadamia nuts worth?